Hello everybody and welcome to another mod spotlight. Now once again, I do want to apologize for the lighting on my face. It's literally any light that goes through that window at the moment until Tuesday. It's going to be really bad unless I'm filming at night. And sadly, I'm not today. It's morning, so it's when the sun is at its brightest. And the sun isn't even out. It's a cloudy day and for some reason, it's glowing as if a Hiroshima bomb has just dropped. Anyways, so this is the Squally Corax, which is a brand new playable shark by the same owner who made Dunkley Osteus. So, Squally Corax is a brand new playable mod to be in the game populating the oceans. This is the male and this is the female. There's no difference in colorations there. However, there are several subspecies. You've got Pristodontus, which is plus 10% stamina. You've got Longimanus, which is plus 10% damage reduction in terms of the changes to the model. It mainly just gets a little bulkier. The fin gets bigger. The tail gets bigger as well. And you've got Volgensis, which is plus 5% speed, which kind of looks more like a Mako shark. I, I, I'm going to say or guess. I'm going to be very wrong with that one and I might get shot, but this one you can tell is more of a slender build. And then you go back to Pristodontus and there you have it. That's all the subspecies. Now let's hop in game and show this thing off for you all. So for the skins, this one has several skins and I do want to point out as well, this thing looks dead when it's in the character customization screen. Like, why does it look like it's just flopping on the land? What's happened to this guy? Anyway, so you've got the skins here. You've got default, which are the patterns are this. The main patterns are actually changes to the fins. It's hard to really showcase that actually because of it looking dead in character select screen. Then you have Caribbean, or Caribbean, uh, and the changes once again are on the fins. Then you have Pelagic, don't know where the changes are. I think they're probably on the fins as well. We've got Felifawn, which is really nice. Probably my favourite one so far. Really nice shark skin. And you've got Apex, which is obviously inspired by the great white shark. And the pattern changes are mainly to do with where the white meets the grey on the shark. Then you've got Carbohydrate. Another really nice one there. Just spotted, really. It's quite nice. Then you have Stripes which obviously the changes are to do with the stripes. Obviously, you're not going to get any extremely vibrant subspecies or skins here. You've got the albino, which will probably be the brightest this thing will be. And then you've got the melanistic, which is the darkest this thing will be. And that's all the skins for the Squalicorax. So here we have the baby Squalicorax. And this thing is absolutely adorable. It just literally looks like a tiny black tip reef shark or a little tiny reef shark, so to say. Um, and it looks really nice. I'm a big fan of it. Really nice model. Really beautiful looking geezer. And uh, yeah, this thing is nice. It's quick as well. I think it's got the similar abilities to the Dunkley Osteo. So you've got your standard bite. And then you have what I'm assuming is Ambush. Yeah, it is. Oh no, that's not Ambush. It's different. But it's like Ambush because it's a short burst of speed. Kind of like tail fan for like Dinonychus or something like that. So, for all the abilities, you don't have many compared to the Dunkley Osteos, however, you do have a handful. For your head, you've got three abilities with two slots to utilize. You've got your standard bite, which causes medium damage. Then you have Missile Strike, which is a lunge forward, dealing damage to things you hit. Inflicts bone break on flying creatures, which I think is absolutely incredible. Then you've got Tearing Bite, which causes low damage and inflicts bleed. So that's all the head slots, that's all the bite abilities right there. Then for your front limb, you've got streamlined dorsal fin, which provides a 40% speed boost when swimming at the surface. And you've got strong pectoral fins. And I think he might have spelt strong wrong, unless he actually meant strong, but I'm, I'm not too sure there. Maybe I have been bamboozled again and my face is glowing like the sun is shining on it, but this improves turning radius by 40%. Then for your metabolism, you've got hypercarnivore, which only allowed to eat for meat. And then you've got fisher, which allows you to eat meat and fish. So there's no bamboozle seafood diet right here. Then for your scales, you've got fixed scales, which increases defense and turning radius. Then you have streamlined, which increases swimming speed and turning. Then standard, which has no positive or negatives. And then you've got resilient, which increases bleed and venom resistance, which is really nice right there. For the tail, you've got tail slap, which inflicts low damage. Then you've got paddle tail, which increases swim speed and swim turning radius. And then after that, you've got breach, which is a lunge forward when you're in the water. So yeah, that's what breach was. Let's have a look at all these stuff. So you got your standard bite, you've got your lunge forward aka breach. 
I wonder if Breach can go out the water. That's one thing I want to test. And then you've got your tail slap. Right, I'm going to see if Breach can go out the water. If it can, that'll be really cool. Oh, it can. Okay. Oh, my God. This thing goes really high. But the missile strike goes higher. And we're going to showcase that off after we showcase the other bite attack, which is the thrashing bite. Uh, because I feel like it's better to showcase it that way. I want to showcase that ability last. So your tearing bite animation is literally this. So it kind of bites and then tears a little bit. But missile strikes is what we want to have a look at. So let's see if we can showcase this off. I don't know if that goes as far, but it goes quite far. That is really cool. I wonder if you can actually get some range on that. Let's see. If I go a bit deeper down and try again, let's have a look. You know what? I didn't actually go as high as I wanted there. You know, we're going to keep going. We're going to. I want to test this out. Let's maybe test Breach. Maybe Breach is the one. Oh, Breach is definitely the one. You can probably jump over that island if you, if you gave it a good try. Oh, wow. That's really cool. But the way it kind of drains its water, it drains it really quick. So you have to be very, very careful with that. Really excited for Breach, though. Oh, Missile Strike. Because, like... You, the fact you'll be able to take out flyers will be absolutely incredible and it's something I really want to see anyways now I'm not sure if this thing has sounds as an uh, as an adult or as a when it's doing its emotes but we can check them out anyways and see what they're like so this is the main broadcast by the looks of it it doesn't have a sound let's see if we can hear it while we're up above the water No, there's, there's no sound to it. Okay. Well, it's just emotes by the looks of it. The next one is friendly. Which is quite cute. Doing a little stretch. It's like, oh, hey, it's me. Then you got the aggro. Kind of flexing its teeth out at you and then does a little shake at the end. Alert, which is kind of the reverse of friendly. It kind of looks like it's died in the water. You got the low, which is just like a high. And then you got the, the friendly again. So that's all the emotes, all the calls, all the animations for this geezer. I'm a big fan of the shark. I wonder how it's going to stack up combat wise to the other playables in the game. But because this thing can jump so high, I think that's what makes it a, a good asset to people as well. It's quite important to note that the water drains really fast. So if you're doing any quest where you have to go above water, you're screwed pretty much and hopefully they've been able to find a way so they don't have to do that look how high this thing goes that is it's like a it is literally a missile that's really cool anyways guys hope you enjoyed and this was the squalid corax i gotta say it's actually looking quite small i wonder how big it is compared to Kai. anyways guys hope you enjoyed let me know your thoughts in the comments which one do you prefer this or dunkley osteus anyways i'll see you in the next one have a great day peace